What's going on you guys? We've got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Clash Disc Tone Salt. That's a mouthful. It's supposed to be a nice overstable distance driver. Numbers are 12, 5, negative 1, 3. If you don't know, the tone is a supposed to be like a two-tone type of plastic. So the top flight plate has one type of plastic and the underside uh, has a different type of plastic. There is like a slight bit of flashing on the edge of the rim. I don't know if they're all like this. I just kind of picked one up. Uh, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I can find a spot on the disc that I can grip. It's not too bad. We're going to throw it out there today for you guys. I got a uh, destroyer to see how it compares. Um, yeah, we're going to throw it out there. Hopefully not hit the guy in the truck. I guess we'll start out with the destroyer. Nice little turn. And a good fade back. Pretty good rip from the destroyer. Let's check out this tone. Tone salt, whatever you want to call it. See if we get any turn out of it. Ooh, very turn. Whoa. Okay. That turned over a lot. Definitely didn't expect that. Um, huh. Might like this. Hold on. So kind of shocked by the first flight of that, that salt there. Never thrown a salt before. I haven't watched anybody else's videos on this disc, so I had no idea what to expect really. But I can tell you what, I didn't expect it to flip over as much as it did there. I thought it would have a good bit of integrity. Actually, I thought it would be really overstable like a uh, like a Halo Destroyer, but it wasn't the case at all. So we're gonna see. It's got me pretty excited because you guys know I love flippy, flippy distance drivers. So we're gonna throw it out there on some hyzer. All right, we're going to throw these bad boys out there on some hyzer. See if I can't flip up a destroyer. Nice flip up. Go in. Oh, <laughs> flash the basket there. I think that this tone will actually flip up a good bit more. Um, so let's see. I threw that a little bit low as well. I'm kind of excited to throw this salt. Oh, slipped. Good stop, good stop. Flip for me a little bit more. Ah, definitely popped up flat. Kind of just slowly popped up flat the whole time though. Didn't uh, didn't ever really turn over. So I'm trying to get a couple more steps into my walk up. I don't know if you guys noticed. Trying to add a little bit more speed into my walk up. Seeing if it'll help me get that 400 foot consistent mark. I did throw 400 feet a few times, but I'm trying to get to that point consistently to where I can throw 400 feet every time. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty sick. I'm gonna try to rip these things over on some Anheuser this time. Hopefully they don't uh, burn over too much. Hopefully this one doesn't. That's a lot of Anheuser. It's coming out though. Oh my gosh, skip to the right? <laughs> that destroyer is uh, something else. Maybe the dryer really did work on that disc. All right. See what this tone does. I threw that on a lot of Anheuser to be fair. Salt on an Anheuser. It's a little better. Oh yeah. Puzzark that basket down there. All right, we're gonna try these out there on some forehand. Something I've been working on a little bit. So we're gonna go destroy it first. That's a pretty spicy forehand there. Went went a bit long of that basket down there. Hmm. Might have to take a take another look at that destroyer, guys. One thing I really found out about this video is that I really like that orange destroyer. But we're gonna see if this tone salt can uh can fly like that. Oh, it does. Okay, I hit the tree, but that was that was the line that was flying just like that destroyer huh i really like that not as overstable as the numbers suggest which i prefer in a distance driver i'm not a fan of an actual neg 13 some destroyers are actually neg 13s like a halo destroyer or something like that i'd stay away from those I, if if you can't throw over 500 feet honestly you have no we've we've got no business throwing those i'm saying i've got no business throwing those myself but um yeah, that orange destroyer is a little lighter weight. This salt does not fly like the numbers. These might actually be some distance driver that you could use if you throw 
around 400 feet, 380 like I do. Yeah, really like this one. Really like the salt. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this rapid disc review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys throw any clash discs. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking this salt. I could definitely see bagging this thing if I didn't already have, you know, 10 drivers that fly just like it. It just, it flies like a nice destroyer. It flies like not so overstable destroyer. Yeah, personally, that's my favorite kind of destroyer is not the beefiest one. <laughs> so for me, salt flies great. Really do enjoy it. Go pick yourself one up at Fly Factory Disc and uh, let them know that Eric G sent you. So that's going to be all for you. We'll see you next time. Peace.